we discussed the case with the y axis now let's discuss the case with x axis let's read the question find the ratio in which the x axis previous it was y axis x axis divides the line segment joining the points points will be changed obviously which is 1 comma minus 5 and minus 4 comma 5 also find the point of intersection so again we need to find the same information we need to find the ratio and second thing we need to find the point of intersection but the difference between this question and the previous one is it was y-axis intersecting and in this case it is x-axis which is intersecting so again let's start with the graph remember i am just doing for the purpose of understanding so graph y-axis and x-axis done simple so y dash y x x dash and origin okay so what's my first point let me write the point first which is a 1 minus 5 and b which is minus 4 comma 5 done and that's it that's it that's what we have it 1 comma minus 5 so 1 is somewhere here and let me take another and we want to go till minus 5 so minus 5 let's talk take it to here so let's name it point a done then minus 4 and 5 so minus 4 is somewhere here and my minus 4 and 5 will go somewhere here okay so here it is this is where my point b is this is okay let's join them this will be something like okay perfectly so this is where my line will be so we are interested where the line intersect the x-axis which is here this is where the line intersect the x-axis let's call it as p what will be the coordinates if the point is on the y-axis what will be zero y coordinate will be zero okay so x comma zero remember this is a relation between previous question and this question if you take y axis then x coordinate zero if you take x co x axis then y coordinate will be zero so let's start again we have the information let's uh, put label m1 and m2 as well so m1 m2 remember i have not drawn this on the graph paper exact this is estimation so it may vary when you try to do on a graph paper remember that this is my estimation okay so let's start with the formula what's the formula k formula we are going to use let's write that as well that m1 over m2 is equal to k simple done now let's use the formula i'm going to write here p x comma zero guess why because it is given that will be the point now k formula k x2 plus x1 over k plus 1 k y2 plus y1 over k plus 1 so done now what is my x1 and y1 so x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 done x1 and x2 y1 and y2 let's substitute the values so p x comma zero as it is then k as it is as we don't know the value now x2 x2 is what here minus 4 minus 4 plus x1 is what 1 over k plus 1 we don't know the value of k then y2 y2 is 5 then y1 it is minus 5 be careful with the negative sign and k plus 1 in denominator let's simplify further x comma 0 is equal to minus 4k plus 1 over k plus 1 and simplify here as well 5k minus 5 is it upon k plus 1 now in previous question we compared the x coordinate first then y coordinates 
So shall I do the same over here? Compare the x coordinate first, then later y coordinate. No, no, that we are not going to do in this question. Here, in this question, we need to think differently. We need to equate the coordinates, which is zero, right? In this one, y is zero. So I will start with the y. Remember, as y coordinate is zero, I am going to start with comparison of y coordinates. Let's start. So I will be writing 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 5k minus 5 over k plus 1. Now, if I multiply this both term with 0, what are we going to get? Simple 0 is equal to 5k minus 5. Let's shift this 5 over here. So positive 5 is equal to 5k and this 5 will go into denominator. So 5 by 5 is equal to k. So what's the value of k? 1. Okay, m1 by m2. That could be a midpoint, right? Okay, let's start about, let's start calculation for y coordinate. How to get the y coordinate? Let's equate Let's think about x coordinate. How to get the value of x coordinate? So I'm going to compare x is equal to x coordinate of this one, which is minus 4k plus 1 denominator k plus 1. What is the value of k? We just calculated, which is 1. So here, minus 4 into 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 again. So minus 4 plus 1 denominator 2. So, value of x, which is minus 3 by 2. So, this is my value of x. Now, we need to get the ratio. So, let's get the ratio. First of all, ratio is what? m1 by m2 is equal to k. And we know m1 by m2 is equal to 1. So ratio is 1 by 1, 1 is to 1. And my point p x0 is equal to p minus 3 by 2 and 0. So this is the ratio that xs, x axis is going to divide the line segment into. And this is the point where it will intersect the line joining two points A and B. So this is how we solve the sums related to when particular line joining is intersected or may be cut. So this is how we solve the sum when it is given that line joining two points is being divided by any axis and ratio is also missing. Let's talk about the next question. Cut. Let's discuss one different case where ratio is also given but in a different manner. Okay, let's start with the question. If a minus 2 and minus 2 and b 2 comma minus 4. So two points are given a and b. Find the coordinates of p such that ap is equal to 3 by 7 ab. Very important information is given. Ratio is given but not in very direct way. It is given indirectly. And two coordinates are given. Obviously, we need that two coordinates to find the third coordinate. Let's start. First of all, what information is given? Let's start with the coordinates, which is A. What's that? Minus 2 and minus 2. Then B. What is the coordinates? 2 comma minus 4. And what important information is given, which is A, P is equal to 3 by 7 AB. Let me simplify a little bit. This AB, let's take in denominator. So AP by AB 
is equal to 3 by 7. Okay, let's draw one line and understand that what does it mean by this ratio. So I am drawing a line done. Starting point, let's take A, ending point B. Done. And let's take P somewhere in the middle. So it is given that AP is equal to 3. Okay, so it will be near to the A. So P here. That we want to find. We want to find the value of P. Remember, if you are drawing this figure, this question will become way easier for you rather than to write in another way. Okay. So it's given 3 over 7. So can I write here that 3x over 7x? Why am I writing it? Because it is ratio. Now ratio, if you multiply something in numerator and denominator is going to remain same. It will not change. Remember, but you need to multiply with the same number. It can be possible that there could be some other value. You do cancellation, then you get 3 by 7. I don't know that unknown number. There can be many numbers. So I've taken x. Okay. So can I write AP is equal to 3x? Okay. So this length is 3x. This length is 3x. Done. Okay. Now AB means from start to end. From start to end. What could be the value? Value of AP. Value of AB which is given 7x. So I will be starting from here and I'll stop at the last point. So this value, this value can be, yes, 7x. Now, if you see the ratio, so far every question that we have discussed, remember, so far every question that we have discussed, the ratio was given something like this. Here, A, B and P like m1 and m2 which is in the line not something like outside one okay so first of all we need to get this value this value we need to get it we need to get this value first what this what this length could be can you guess this length it is very easy very simple calculation it is very simple calculation right if this is 7x m if this is 3x then what could be the value over of this pb Simple, subtract that and get the answer. So let's get the value of PB. So here I can write PB is equal to, can I write AB? Yes, minus AP, minus AP. So 7X minus 3X is equal to 4X. Now this value I know, which is 4X. So if you compare this upper part, with this figure, then you can say we have value of m1 by m2. We have value of m1 by, m1 by m2. So first of all, let's write AP over PB. So AP is what? 3x. PB is what? 4x. Now let's do cancel the x. Then we get the ratio 3 by 4 is equal to m1 by m2. Done. My ratio is here. So most important step in this question was to find the ratio. The ratio, if you use 3 by 7, you will not get the correct answer. Remember, because the relation is given over here. First of all, try to understand the relation. If you cannot understand, draw the figure. This will clear the picture that what ratio is given and what do we need for the formula, right? So. Let's apply the formula. We have coordinates of A, we have coordinates of B. We need to find for the P, we have M1 and M2 as well. So let's substitute the value. We are going to use the M, M1 and M2 formula for this question. Simple because we have value of M1 and M2. So let's find P comma X and Y is equal to, let's write the formula same over here, which is M1, x2 plus m2 x1 denominator 2 then m1 y2 plus m2 y1 denominator m1 plus m2 we have all the values m1 m2 x1 x2 y1 y2 let's name it this let's call it as x1 comma y1 here x2 comma y2 done we have m1 and m2 as well, 3 by 
4. So let's substitute. Let's start with the ratio. What is the ratio? 3 by 4. So 3, then here 4 denominator I am going to add here as well. 3 spaced and plus and 4. Then 3 plus 4. You know what I am doing, right? Now x2. What is the value of x2? 2 here. What is the value of x1? Minus 2. Then what is the value of y2? Which is minus 4. What is the value of y1? Minus 2. Let's simplify and get our answer. Done. We are done with the question. So 3 to za 6. Then 4 to za 8. And negative sign. So minus 8. Here 3 plus 4. 7. Then 3 4 za minus 12. Then here 4 to za minus 8 again. Then 3 plus 4. 7. So let's write our final answer which is 6 minus 8 will give you minus 2 by 7 and minus 12 and minus 8 minus 20 by 7. That's the coordinates of P x comma y. Remember the special case why we are discussing this question is that ratio is not given in normal form. It is given something in a relation. So draw the figure then you simplify you find out that is the correct ratio given if not you need to find the correct ratio how simple follow the number line method and you'll get the answer then use the formula of finding the coordinates and get your final answer